Hello Internet, it's me Josh the Aging Gamer. So, it's finally happened. Hell has frozen over, pigs are flying, and uh, hmm, it's the 12th of Never. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Marvel vs. Capcom is finally returning! This year, we're seeing the re-release of the entire Marvel vs. Capcom series with Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics. That's right, we're seeing the re-release of X-Men Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and... The Punisher. Huh. Well, I'll take it, because this is freaking fantastic! You know, I have a lot of fond memories of playing Children of the Atom and X-Men vs. Street Fighter in the arcades back in the day. Uh, I also really enjoyed playing Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2 on the Dreamcast. Those were like my two favorite games. So to say that I'm excited for this collection coming out is a bit of an understatement. But uh, it's actually got me thinking. If Capcom and Marvel slash Disney are working together to get this collection out, what if? What if there's more in the works? What if Marvel vs. Capcom 5 is in development? Is it Marvel vs. Capcom 5 or is it Marvel vs. Capcom 4? Do we count Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite as Marvel vs. Capcom 4 or are we just trying to forget about that game's existence? Either way, it's fun to speculate and dream about what's next for the series. With that said, I put together a list. A list of 50 characters, 50 playable characters that I want to see in the next Marvel vs. Capcom game. 50 to match the roster amount in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. 25 for Marvel, 25 for Capcom. And to keep things fresh, I added 14 newcomers. 7 for Marvel, 7 for Capcom. And let me tell you, trying to make this list was pretty difficult. Trying to get uh, series favorites, uh, pushing newcomers, and just deciding who needs to be cut. It's pretty tough. It's a lot harder than you think. This is just my list though. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, let's get to this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Aging Gamers Dream Roster for the next Marvel vs. Capcom game. Let's go! So to start off this list, I want to talk about the Marvel characters first. Honestly, as much as I love Capcom, I'm all about the Marvel characters. And the first four I'm adding are pretty much the golden standards. Captain America, the Invincible Iron Man, the Incredible Hulk, and the Mighty Thor. It's kind of hard to have anything representing Marvel these days without these characters. Next up, we gotta add our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. And what is Spider-Man without his nemesis and Marvel vs. Capcom series fan favorite, Venom. Eddie Brock Venom to be exact. And to be honest, with Spider-Man himself being pretty much the mascot for Marvel, I find the lack of Spider-Man supporting characters in the series kind of upsetting, so I want to add some new ones here. First off, a new villain. I was torn between adding Green Goblin and Dr. Octopus because both are such iconic Marvel villains. Ultimately though, I'm going to choose Doc Ock because I think he has some great moveset potential. Also, I want to add either Miles Morales or Spider-Gwen. I'd honestly want to add them both because they're both really awesome and I feel they both have great moveset potential. Nothing against Miles, but I'm going to have to go with Ghost Spider on this one. Next up, another new character and a Marvel icon, Daredevil, the man without fear. How has he not been in any of these games yet? It's crazy! So, the Fantastic Four, Marvel's first family. How have they not been in this series at all yet? The closest we got was Super Scroll in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Well, we're gonna change that today. I'm not adding the whole team, but I'm gonna be adding two. First up, Johnny Storm, the Human Torch. And also one of my favorite Marvel characters, Ben Grimm, the Thing. Two legendary Marvel characters to finally get their due in this legendary series. Uh, speaking of the series, before Marvel vs. Capcom, it was really X-Men vs. Street Fighter that, that set off this whole crossover rivalry. 
For some stupid reason, the X-Men were removed entirely from the latest game in the series. Well, since it was X-Men and Street Fighter that started the series, and because both franchises are so beloved within their companies and their fan base, I'm giving them some hefty representation. Both series will be getting a whole 7 spots on the roster each. And when it comes to the uncanny X-Men, we'll be seeing the return of The Wolverine, Storm, Cyclops, Psylocke, Gambit, Rogue, and Magneto. Continuing on, we got another newcomer. Moon Knight. This is a character that is finally starting to pick up some mainstream success, so let's keep that ball rolling. Speaking of mainstream success, Deadpool of course has to make his return here. Next up, we gotta have Black Panther. And representing the Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocket Raccoon. Maybe this is a more biased pick, but I guess this whole list is biased, but I really like the character, so yeah, I want to see him return here. For another new character, I'd like to see the Scarlet Witch. Wanda has a lot of potential for a really cool looking moveset, and I think now is a great time for her to make her Marvel vs. Capcom debut. Alrighty, so there's only two slots left for the Marvel characters, and I want some more villain representation. First up, the Mad Titan himself, Thanos. And last but not least, Doctor Doom. <laughs> so yeah, those are my Marvel picks. I feel it's pretty well-rounded with new characters, classic characters, and fan favorites. Uh, it's a shame I can't add more, but the roster would have to be like 100 characters to make everyone happy. Uh, let's go ahead and move on with the Capcom side now. Alright, so 25 Capcom characters, starting with the 7 Street Fighter characters, will have Ryu, Chun-Li, Guile, Sakura, Akuma, M. Bison, and for a new character to the series, freaking Blanca! I could have swore he was in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but surprisingly he's been absent from this series the whole time. Next up, I want to see the return of the original Blue Bomber, Mega Man. I'd like to see two new Mega Man characters added as well. I want to see Proto Man. And not only that, but I want to see Dr. Wily himself. Of course, Wily wouldn't fight hand to hand, but would instead be in some kind of device and would fight like Tron Bon or Modok. Next, some Capcom icons. From Ghost and Ghouls and Goblins, Sir Arthur. Also, from the same series, the return of Firebrand. From Devil May Cry, Dante. From Strider, well, Strider. From Akami, Amaterasu. From Final Fight and Saturday Night Slam Masters, Mike Hager. Representing Resident Evil, I'd like to see the return of Jill Valentine. And rather than seeing the return of Chris Redfield, I'd like to see Leon Kennedy as a newcomer. Next, representing the Darkstalkers and Night Warriors franchise, the return of both Morgan and Felicia. And you know, Capcom isn't going to ever revive the Darkstalker franchise, so I want to add some newcomers from the series here. I want to see Dimitri added here. Surprisingly, for being a main character of the Darkstalker series, he has yet to make his Marvel vs. Capcom debut. And for another Darkstalkers newcomer, I was kind of torn between John Talbane and Lord Raptor. Since we already got some fuzzy Capcom characters, I'm choosing Lord Raptor. I'm really interested to see what they can do with him character-wise in a game like this. Moving on to represent another big series from Capcom, I'd like to see the return of Monster Hunter. And for another newcomer, this one is a Capcom fighting game deep cut. From the frickin' Power Stone series, I want to see Edward Falcon representing. And for the final Capcom character, I'm choosing a fan favorite to return, none other than Phoenix Wright. <laughs> So, there we have it. Let's go ahead and recap this roster. Captain America, Iron Man, The Hulk, Thor, Spider-Man, Venom, Dr. Octopus, Ghost Spider, Daredevil, The Human Torch, The Thing, Wolverine, Storm, Cyclops, Psylocke, Gambit, Rogue, Magneto, Moon Knight, Deadpool, Black Panther, Rocket Raccoon, Scarlet Witch, Thanos, Doctor Doom, Ryu, Chun-Li, Guile, Sakura, Akuma, M. Bison, Blanca, Mega Man, Proto Man, Dr. Wily, Arthur, Firebrand, Dante, Strider, Amaterasu, 
Mike Hager, Jill Valentine, Leon Kennedy, Morgan, Felicia, Dimitri, Lord Raptor, Monster Hunter, Edward Falcon, and Phoenix Wright. So again, it was tough picking the roster and having to cut some characters. Now I limited myself to 50 characters simply because that's what Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 ended at. I do have some honorable mentions, uh, or in this case, hypothetical DLC to this hypothetical roster. So let me go ahead and give you another 10 right here that don't quite make the cut. Miles Morales, Green Goblin, Ghost Rider, Nightcrawler, Captain Marvel, Captain Commando, Zero, Poison, John Talbane, and Nemesis. And there we have it, this is my roster for the next Marvel vs. Capcom game. But these are just my opinions. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the Marvel vs. Capcom series? What characters do you want to see added? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Like if you like this video. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And I thank you guys for watching. I hope you all take care. I'll see you all on the next one. Select your heroes.